Lata Umre is one among the most successful politicians of the Bang Valley. He served as an MLA and an MP as well. He is an active member of his community and spends a good amount of time for the welfare of his community. Namaskar. I am Lata Umbre. I was born as per my parents' birth in 2nd October 1956 in a small village called Awali. Now it is in East Sian district. Then I came for study in 1964 January, got admitted in lower KG at drawing and I did my higher secondary from Rowing High Secondary School in 1977 and then I went for high studies. I joined Jawaharlal Nehru College, Pasigar, did my graduation in economics in 1980. Well, my interest on social service and being a social worker inevitably in politics started probably when I start working. No matter how successful or failure I am, but I have been a leader right from my childhood in the village, then in the school, in the classroom. I first contested in my life for the post of sports secretary in Rowing High School in 1972. I won with huge majority. Then in 73, I became General Secretary. Since then, I have organized so many students' organizations, former students' organization, and then I added later on till I left education. Then in 1983, for a few months, I served as a junior teacher. First I joined as assistant teacher A, then junior teacher. Then I served as project officer at the education department in 1980, served at Anini when there was no helicopter service nor there were route to Anini by walking. It used to be 14 days stages to Anini from Rowing. And in 1983, I resigned. I contested for the panchayat, become grand panchayat. Those days in our panchayati our system, you know, in order to become Jilla Parishad or Anshan Samiti Vice President, you have to contest. You have to contest from Gram panchayat. Then Gram panchayat members elect Anshan Samiti, Anshan Samiti elect Anshan Samiti Vice President and Jilla Parishad. Then Jilla Parishad and Anshan Samiti Vice Presidents elect Jilla Parishad Vice President. Presidents were held by the ex officio administrative officers. So I was under undivided rowing Dumbo Council Committee Vice President in 1984, 1983, sorry. Then simultaneously in 84 January, 1984 January, I joined Indian National Congress as district. General Secretary District Committee. Again in 1987, I contested Panchayat election and became Jilla Purushat, undivided Dibangbili District Jilla Purushat Vice President. Then got the chance to represent East Arunachal Pradesh to the Parliament in the Lok Sobha in 1989, November. Then again got 
re-elected in 1991, served till 1996. I lost the election in 1996. Then I was associated with various NGOs including Johnny Polo Mission. I have initiated developing, developing Ido Mismi script in the name of Ido Azobra in collaboration with the Apex body of the Government of India. Central Institute of Indian Languages, Mysore. Then, 2006, I got elected in the by election from growing as an independent. Then, again in 19, uh, 2009, got re elected as you know, MLA from. TMC Trinamool Congress. Later on, I joined People's Party of Arunachal. Tried my best to promote a regional political party, but I failed, miserably failed, and lost the election in 2019 election. Sorry, 2014 election. Then I joined in BJP. I still remembers my best part of you know service was the as panchayat leader and then member of legislative assembly panchayat leader i completely dedicated myself to the cause of the people i helped them promote them and that is the reason people like me and I got a chance to become MP. Then again after a few years back, oh, nearly about 10 years back, I got a chance to go to the assembly. I am very happy though I lost twice but I am happy that what normally we feel that what uh, member of legislative assembly should speak i have, i think i have not let any subject untouched i have spoken at length whatever is required at that moment to the best of my satisfaction to lekin ye jis tarah se maine kaha pehle ye to hamara या किसी का हाथ में नहीं है एक दिन तो होना था हो गया और मैं उम्मीद करता हूं भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूं कि जो हमारे प्रतिनिधि लोग हैं जनता के आशाएं आकांक्षाएं को पूरा करना तो संभव नहीं है फिर भी पॉजिटिव नोट के साथ सारा कार्य को आगे करने के लिए और खास करके हमारा जैसे कम्युनिटीज है जो बैकवर्ड कम्युनिटीज है और मेरा सबसे दुख इसी में है कि हमारा जो परंपरा है हमारा रीति है रिवाज है संस्कृति है आप मॉडर्नाइजेशन का नाम में टेक्नोलॉजी का डेवलपमेंट का नाम में खोया जा रहा है खास करके जो भाषा है मैं समझता हूँ मैं ताना कमान लैंग्वेजेस के बारे में तुम्हें इतना जानकारी नहीं है लेकिन आपने ईदू लैंग्वेज को थोड़ा बहुत जानकारी है उससे लगता है ऐसे ऐसे शब्द है वर्ड्स है जो इंग्लिश में नहीं है जो हिंदी में आसामी इसमें नहीं होगा इतना सुंदर वो सारा धीरे धीरे मर जा मर म, ये मर रहा है लोगों को याद नहीं आ रहा है आप भी, भी अगर इस तरह से कोई उसको प्रिजर्व करना चाहेगा तो कर सकता है क्योंकि अभी भी बहुत लोग अभी भी बहुत कम लोग जीवित है जो बोल सकते हैं वहां से बहुत अच्छा है अच्छे बात आप निकल सकते हैं 
लेकिन एक लैंग्वेज जो ख़त्म हो जाता है हम हिंदी सीख लिया इंग्लिश बोलना सीख लिया तो अपना भाषा को ख़त्म कर देना मेरा ख्याल से ये यही सबसे बड़ा आइडेंटिटी है आप हिंदू मंदिर में जाओ क्रिश्चन चार्जेस में जाओ मुस्लिम का इसमें कोई मस्जिद में जाओ लेकिन दैट इज़ नॉट योर आइडेंटिटी योर आइडेंटिटी इज योर लैंग्वेज आई थिंक कल्चर का सबसे बड़ा तो आइडेंटिटी तो तो लैंग्वेज से आता है तो ये मेरा मेरा साइड लाइफ का सबसे दुखद है तो सींग ओन लैंग्वेज डाइंग अपना भाषा मातृभाषा मरते हुए देखना सबसे मेरा लाइफ का दुख है इवन बहुत मेरा जो चुनाव में हार जाता है बिजनेस हम नहीं कर पाते वो भी इतना बड़ा बात नहीं लेकिन भाषा जो मरते हुए अपने आंखों से देख रहा है वो सबसे मेरा जीवन का दुख है तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ आने वाले समय में हमारा एजुकेटेड लोग इंटेलेक्चुअल लोग एकजुट होकर के कुछ कदम उठाए खास करके राजनीति के जो सक्षम लोग हैं और जो प्रतिनिधि करते हैं प्रतिनिधि लोग आगे आए उसको बचाए ये मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ भगवान से मैं प्रार्थना करता हूँ थैंक यू सो मच